Now the real problem here is they're claiming this to be cruelty-free meat, but the truth is, that is one big lie. Do you like vegetables? Does eating plant-based meat make you a vegetarian? And would you eat synthetic meat? Now plant-based meat or clean meat as they like to call it, which is actually grown in a test tube. Now that doesn't sound very appealing if they was to call this test tube meat, but clean meat sounds very marketable. Now what's being in question here is that they love to call this plant-based and I'm assuming they're trying to push this on vegetarians who once enjoyed eating red meat but turned away because of the animal cruelty found in some of these slaughterhouses or just for health reasons. And they also are pushing this global climate change agenda, again, just to help sell their product. Now the real problem here is they're claiming this to be cruelty-free meat, but the truth is, that is one big lie. Welcome back health nerds, I am your host and your nerd Steven Ayala and if you haven't yet please hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your opinion on these topics and this is an absolute free way to support this channel. Today's sponsor is Cellgenics, Liver Regenics hosting 8 of the world's most regenerative superfoods and enhanced with plant stem cells and as always if you want to know more about the research topics and the supplements you will find this in the description box below. So here's the problem with lab meat. They claim to be able to grow meat from cells extracted from animals one time without the need to kill it and then grow it in a lab indefinitely. That's a problem. All cells have a lifespan so they must continuously extract these cells from these animals to continue growing this meat. Now to overcome this problem many of these companies have been trying to genetically modify the cells to live indefinitely. These cells that replicate indefinitely will have characteristics that are very similar to cancer cells. Now I don't know about you, but I don't want to eat anything that is similar to cancer. Remember, you are what you eat and there is truth to that. The second biggest problem is that laboratory meat must be grown in a very specific growth medium which comes from the blood of slaughtered baby cows called fetal bovine serum. So to overcome the dilemma for the need to kill an animal and truly call this uh, cruelty free, so instead of using fetal bovine serum, they have been looking into actually using uh, human platelet cells as a growth medium. Now, this is starting to sound too much like a horror movie to me. Once in the laboratory, it is very difficult to keep the cells from contamination. So there is a need for antibiotics. If or when they scale this to a level of factory farming, the contamination of the meat will be much harder to control. Now when it comes to the environmental impact of lab meat, it may be as bad as livestock emissions. The amount of resources and energy that goes into producing this lab grown meat on a worldwide scale may be equal or possibly produce more emissions not to mention the cost to scale this up to that level. So we're circling back to the point where this all started. It doesn't make any sense. At this point, we're still torturing the animal by extracting flesh. We're still slaughtering the animals for the fetal bovine serum and still adding chemicals to keep the meat from contamination. So exactly how is this better for the animal environment and us? It is obvious they're still far from replacing the slaughterhouse and being energy conscious. I will admit the first time I heard about lab meat, I actually was hopeful that this would one day stop the suffering of so many animals. I would love to know how you guys feel about lab meat and if you actually had a chance to try one of these meats. Also check out this video from Born Vegan. She has some very good arguments about lab grown meat. Thank you guys. Remember, knowledge is power, health is wealth. See you on the next one.